5.30, the cold case cards. Who killed Robert Bobby Baptista? He made a lot of enemies. Yeah, it seems that way. In 2016, just weeks after being released from prison, a Pawtucket man was shot and killed in his apartment. There is no shortage of suspects, but nailing down who pulled the trigger has been a challenge. So detectives added the case to a deck of playing cards. Each card highlights an unsolved homicide or missing person case in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen sits down with the detective who started the investigation at the scene to see where the search for justice stands now. Bobby had a record. He just got out of prison, but this time things were going to be different. He told his uncle he was going to get back on track, but he was never given the chance. Bobby Baptista, the two of diamonds. He was trying. Things were tough and he wanted to fix them. Robert Bobby Baptista just got out of prison in November 2016. Earlier that year, Eyewitness News captured the end of a standoff he had with police. He and two associates were arrested for an incident earlier in the day where gunfire erupted from both sides. After he got out, it seemed like he, part of it, was trying to get his life together. Bobby started living at a friend's apartment on Sisson Street. November 12th, 2016, people entered his apartment. Oh, he was inside the apartment, so he may have been ambushed. He was shot in the chest, killed. Pawtucket Detective Sue Cormier worked the scene. You can see her in the file video at the apartment. Well, it was uh, an emotional scene. You had uh, friends that were gathering outside because they knew he was staying there. They saw the police cars. They saw the rescue. People took it upon themselves to notify family members before the police were able to. So it, it really uh, intensified the scene. Bobby's uncle, Jay Baptista, spoke to us the day after the murder. I mean, it has to be some type of vendetta or something like that. I have no idea where it could have come from. He's not a bad kid, and it, it's really sad. It, it made this case a little bit difficult because of some of his connections and some of the enemies that he did make. He made a lot of enemies? Yeah, it seems that way. Cormier said there are quite a few suspects and they're narrowing down the field. She said witnesses spotted multiple people running from the scene. Well, they took someone's life that quickly and are still walking around and, and trying to get away with it and move on with their lives. So it's just not right. Trying to better his life and now he, now he can't. The, the people that are responsible for his death um, got away with it right now, and he has a family that loved him, that they deserve answers, and he deserves some justice. Do you know who killed Bobby Baptista? Call 1-877-RI-SOLVE or go to our website, WPRI.com, to learn more about this investigation and all of the others we've covered so far in this series. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.